Good morning guys, Lee from Old School Window Cleaners. Welcome back to the channel. This morning's waffle is, I'm gonna try and make it not turn into a rant. Um, and for the purpose of health and safety, I did start recording the video earlier and I will edit it. I'm not driving along, touching my phone and messing about. Anyway, I have joined um, a company called Bark on bark.com and they are a lead generation company. Now, it's an absolute complete waste of time. An absolute complete waste of time because the leads that are on there, the customers are either already sorted or they are they don't respond it's an absolute complete waste of time i think i paid 50 pound and you get oh so many i think it's 50 credits i can't remember exactly how many credits and each job is based on um how much i think how much i think the the bar company decide how many credits you're going to use because i've had some jet washing jobs on there and it's some are five credits and some are seven um, there's, you, you can put in what you want to want to use. Um, I know Squeaky Clean Dave has used it before, um, but I bought fifty pounds worth of credits and I messaged all these people. And obviously, if there's a if there's a lead on there that's been on there for seven days, you can click on the lead and it tells you the information about it, and it also tells you how many professionals have already responded. And there's a maximum of five that can respond. So Bark run a good thing now because they're getting at least four to five people to each lead that are all spending for the same. You don't purchase the lead and it's yours. You you purchase the information to contact the person. You're not purchasing the lead. It's a little bit of me selling all thing that is because they say you buy the lead and then quote the customer, but you don't. You're not buying the lead because the lead doesn't belong to you. It belongs to four or five other people as well. So. I purposely went for jobs that have been uploaded within a couple of hours. Um, I never went past more than a day. I did cherry pick the jobs that I, that, that I went for. Um, I was the first person to respond to one of the uh, adverts for gutter clearing. Because obviously I, I, I put down that we offer gutter clearing, roof cleaning, driveways, patios and window cleaning. Um, and any jobs that come up in that category they come up on your leads you get a list of leads and you get notifications when a new lead comes up so as soon as I get a ping I'll go in and I'll, I'll respond now I've been the first to respond to quite a few um, I probably should have screenshotted the, um, the, the, the list actually because I must have contacted 30 people um, I've had one driveway job out of it and that's it that's all I've had um, and that was an 80 pound drive um, a lot of people don't answer you back the guy with the gutter in I was the first one to respond and he said oh no worries thanks mate but I'm sorted now well that's just cost me eight credits that I'm not going to get back and when you contact support there is no support they just email you a generic answer every single time. Um, they offer you a money back guarantee. It isn't a money back guarantee. They just re return your credits. Um, and they will only return your credits if there's a lead that's not on there. I emailed them and uh, at first the guy emailed me back and he says, you know, oh, you know, you need to be in there early and you need to be first. Here's a list of guides of how to use Bark. I, was like, I know how to use it. It isn't difficult to learn how to use it. It's quite simple. A monkey could do it. I do it. So it's not difficult to work out. You know, you look at the job, you look when it was uploaded. If it was uploaded three days ago and four professionals have contacted them, I'm not gonna waste my credits contacting them because then people have probably already found someone. Um, there was jobs on there that I was getting emails back where they were saying, oh, we're already done. And I'm like, I, I don't get it. I, 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 why, is the, why is the lead still there? 
and all Bart turned around and says, oh, it's down to the customer to close the lead down. Well, it shouldn't be, should it? It shouldn't be. Um, when you use your credits to contact the person, it unscrambles, you know, they put a lot of the hashtags and stuff across the, the phone number and the email. Uh, it unscrambles that so you can see their email address and their phone number and you can contact them directly through Bark. You can email them through Bark or you can message them through Bark. Um, and I thought, well, maybe that doesn't, maybe they're not getting notifications. So I've even directly text the numbers and I have phoned them and no answer. I leave voicemail after voicemail, they don't get back to you. An absolute complete waste of time. So for me, bark.com, don't bother with it. Do not bother with it. Um, again, like I said, I know Squeaky Clean Dave's used it. Um, I'm not quite sure how successful Dave's been with it. But for me, and foolishly, I should have checked the reviews before I went on there. That was that was my first school by error. Because since I've gone on Trustpilot and had a look at the reviews, there are so many people on there that are saying exactly the same thing. It's a flawed business model. It's not a lead generation. You don't purchase leads because everybody else is in there as well, um, which is fine. It's, you know, I'm not, I'm not worried about competition for business, but you can't advertise leads and say that you're buying leads when you're actually not. You're buying their contact information and if they don't get back to you, you're buggered. So yeah, for me, Bark gets the biggest thumbs down ever. Um, if you're gonna go on there, that's entirely up to you, but be warned. Um, go on Trustpilot, read the reviews, they're not good. And they all say exactly the same as me. There are some people on there that say, oh, what a fantastic site, this, that, the other. But that could be, that could be made up by the company and, you know, it's very easy for for them to get some of their employees to just go on there and put uh, you know, this, that, and the other on, and you know, oh yeah, put this, put that. It will look good, and but the, the the bad outweigh the good. Trust me. So yeah, Bark.com for me is no good, waste of time. Um, I think I had about 30 credits left. I've just wrote them off. There's no point. Um, I've contacted some people with with the credits I had left. Um, they've not got back in touch with me. Um, I would like to say, I, I did consider screenshotting all the leads and people can see how many people I've contacted and how many people have not even responded. Um, but I, I decided not to do that because obviously there's, there's going to be people's names and um, phone numbers and, uh, and stuff. So I, I, didn't, I didn't think that would be a good idea. Um, I know I could always blur them out, but I'm not very technical with blurring. You've seen my editing skills or videos they're not great so uh, um, yeah so but you know read the reviews yourself uh, yeah bark.com is not for me it is Saturday the 19th maybe I'm not even sure what date it is not sure but yep it's Saturday morning uh, I've got a patio to do this morning we'll see if I can get some footage for that uh, we're putting a bit of drain pipe in for a lady as well at the same place so um, I hope everyone has a great weekend and I will catch you all on the next video